Hey guys, these are my DVDs that start with the letter G, continuing my series of going through my movie collection. Uh, like I said, starting off with um, DVDs, <clears throat> we've got Galaxy Quest, great comedy with Tim Allen. Uh, it's the DVD, I uh, have not picked up the Blu-ray yet. Same thing with the game. Of course, uh, Criterion puts out the Blu-ray for the game, so... I'll have to wait out that price. Uh, Garden State. Great movie. <clears throat> I like documentaries about filmmakers, and uh, this is a good one made back in the 80s. George Stevens, A Filmmaker's Journey, uh, which was made by uh, his son, I believe. Uh, I, I actually had this uh, recorded off of TV. I think it was off of A&E on a VHS tape when I was a kid. Good documentary. Get Shorty. Get Elmore Leonard flick. The Gift. I think it's an underrated movie. Um, Billy Bob Thornton wrote the script. Sam Raimi directed it. And um, you see Katie Holmes' boobs. So, uh, you know, that in my book is an underrated movie. Gilda. Rita Hayworth is just amazing. That's all I can say about that. Gladiator, have not picked up the Blu-ray yet, so I've just got this uh, DVD signature selection. Glenn, Glary, blah, blah, blah. Glenn Gary Glenn Ross, Coffee is for Closers. Remember that. Great da David Mamet script. Glory, uh, which you'll see on Blu-ray as well, so I won't go into that too much go fun uh, 90s flick no I don't have the Godfather on blu-ray leave me alone so here's the DVD collection gods must be crazy one and two fun uh, fun movie from the 80s very low budget but it definitely uses that low budget to its advantage Going in style, great movie with some fantastic uh, icons there. George Burns, Art Carney, Lee Strasberg. Um, yeah, good movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Goldfinger, just a classic Bond flick. The Goods, Live Hard, Sell Hard. That was an okay comedy. I, I think I picked it up really cheap. Goodwill Hunting, which I believe I also have on Blu-ray, so I won't go into that. The Goonies, which I do not own on Blu-ray. Just a nostalgic 80s flick. <clears throat> Excuse me. Grand Hotel. This was uh, one of the first movies I picked up um, at Big Lots when I first discovered Big Lots. And it was uh, one of those gateway movies into old classics. It's a great uh, ensemble piece that uh, yeah just a really good movie Grand Hotel All right. The Great Buck Howard thought that was a pretty good movie uh, John Malkovich is always fun to watch and I picked it up uh, I think at one of the Hollywood video closings so I got it for like 50 cents uh, classic movie The Great Escape can't beat it just some great uh, great actors and just a Really solid World War II flick. Gremlins. Uh, I've actually highlighted this in a recent uh, Christmas video. Um, uh, it takes place at Christmas, so it's kind of a fun movie to watch at Christmas. One of those movies people don't really think about as a Christmas movie. <clears throat> Great documentary, Grizzly Man, um, by Warner Herzog. If you like documentaries, that's definitely one to check out. Great John Cusack flick, Gross Point Blank, and I realize it uh, recently came out on Blu-ray, and I just haven't picked that up yet. Grudge 1 and 2, 
uh, watched these at this past Halloween. So if you're interested in my thoughts on those, you can look the uh, look back at some of those Halloween videos on my channel. Great, great, great film noir, gun crazy, in the tradition of uh, um, some of the movies like uh, Natural Born Killers or um, drawing a blank here. Uh, there, there's a bunch of movies where it's a, a couple um, who are kind of running from the law. And this is one of the first one, first ones uh, to do that. So check that out if you've never seen it. It's very good. Gun Fury uh, was another Big Lots pickup. Uh, I, I like discovering westerns, and this one was pretty good. Um, it also was of interest to me because it was a movie shot for 3D back in the 50s, and it's got some of those great cheesy moments where somebody's you know poking a stick at the camera and things like that. Um, but uh, you know, even despite the little 3D cheesiness, it was a decent western. I thought Rock Hudson, Donna Reed. Game of Thrones, one of my favorite uh, TV shows of recent times. Um, I'm reading some of the books right now, looking forward to the the next season. I'm looking forward to season two coming out on Blu-ray here soon. Uh, just a really, really great TV show and great uh, book series as well. Gandhi on Blu-ray, 25th anniversary. Picked that one up at uh, one of the blockbuster closings. Gangs of New York, uh, a lot of people didn't really care for that movie, um, Scorsese flick that uh, I actually enjoyed. Um, I have some good memories attached to it as well. I actually was in New York at Christmas time, uh, New York City, uh, when it came out, so that, that kind of added to the enjoyment of it. Gattaca on Blu-ray. Great Buster Keaton film, The General. Classic 80s movie, Ghostbusters. Um, a really Scott film some people don't really um, care for, I guess. But I, I, I remember enjoying it. I haven't revisited it in a while. But G.I. Jane, I picked it up for cheap off of uh, uh, Amazon, I believe. I remember, uh, I think that was pretty decent, though. And then we go to G.I. Joe, a movie I did not expect to like, but I found it to be a lot of fun, actually. Um, looking forward to the uh, sequel, hoping, uh, hoping that it keeps up that level of fun. It's not a, a masterpiece by any means, but, you know, it, I, I thought it was a lot more fun than, like, the Transformers movies, actually. I'm getting to... Uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and this is the, of course, the David Fincher American version there, which I liked quite a bit. And then we've got the um, the originals here of the trilogy, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest, and, oops, sorry, Girl Who Played with Fire. I mentioned this in the DVDs, but I do have the Blu-ray version of Glory. Fantastic Civil War movie. Um, one of those just near-perfect movies for me. Uh, the soundtrack is one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. It's just really uh, moving, I guess, is the word for it. Really good job by James Horner, use of uh, the Harlem Boys Choir. Gone with the Wind, which I... Actually, just saw within the last year for the very first time, and I enjoyed it all, quite a bit. Uh, I think the uh, last third of the movie uh, goes a little over the top, but uh, it's just an amazing movie, especially for the time in which it was made. Just uh, some incredible filmmaking. So uh, I definitely enjoyed it for that. <clears throat> and Good, Bad, and the Ugly. One of the classic westerns, Sergei Leone with Clint Eastwood. Part of the Man With No Name trilogy, although they call him Blondie, I think, through all three movies. Good, Bad, and the Weird, uh, a great Korean movie that uh, I enjoyed quite a bit. 
uh, very fun kind of action adventure. If you like movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark, you might uh, might want to check it out. It's pretty good. Goodfellas, just a classic Scorsese flick. Really creepy uh, horror film called Grace. Um, lady has a baby who uh, evidently needs to feed off of blood. And uh, it just sounds like a cheesy kind of concept, but it's actually very well done. Very creepy. <clears throat> if you like the creep factor in your horror movies, that's one to check out. The Graduate, uh, classic Mike Nichols movie. I don't remember the transfer being so hot on that, though. I was a little disappointed from what I remember. Yes, I have Gremlins 2 on Blu-ray, but not Gremlins on Blu-ray. Don't ask me why. Oh, yeah, well, you can ask me why, and I'll tell you. Because um, I haven't found the first one for a good price yet, and this one I found for a good price. Uh, Gremlins 2, the new batch. Uh, it's a fun movie. It's it's much more of a comedy than the first one. Um, but I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Grindhouse, uh, <clears throat> enjoyable movie with uh, by Rodriguez and Tarantino. I enjoyed the the Rodriguez movie uh, portion, Planet Terror, uh, more so than Death Proof. But even Death Proof has its moments. So you know, I, I definitely wanted to have the full Grindhouse experience. So I'm glad I picked that up. Classic movie, uh, I consider it a classic anyway. Groundhog Day. Um, oddly enough, I, it feels like it could be a good Christmas movie, even though it doesn't take obviously doesn't take place at Christmas. Uh, it does have that kind of "It's a Wonderful Life" kind of vibe to it, with somebody kind of learning a lesson through some existential, uh, you know, mir miraculous thing happening, uh, in this case, him living the same day over and over. Um, yeah, so if you've never seen Groundhog Day, you definitely need to check it out. 